Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video which is my 19 week pregnancy update video. Now, that means, sorry I've just sorted myself out, I literally just sat down and fell over my uh, my can of coke which luckily I haven't opened yet but yeah it's left me a little bit, you know, a little bit flustered but anyway. So yeah, that means I am one week away from my halfway point which sounds crazy because that only seemed like the other day I found out I was pregnant and now I am 19 weeks pregnant so this is this is huge isn't it like me I feel huge I feel like I've really grown recently let me see if I can just show you what I look like I don't know if my camera will oh Hang on, let's show you baby in there getting big. Oh, let's put you back. Um, do, 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 do. That's about right. Yeah, so 19 weeks and I am really starting to feel 19 weeks now. My bump has just shot out. I know they say uh, the baby starts growing rapidly and my goodness it has and I do get short of breath I feel um, just climbing up the stairs I'm like I'm panting and I think oh no not yet don't start doing that yet because I've still got 20 weeks left so I don't want to start with the <sighs> let's just take a deep breath <laughs> I think it was the whole tripping over the can of coke thing that did it for me also I did like a kind of army roll on the bed because there was something in the background and then I come walked around tripped up and then here we are anyway so let's get into what has been happening this past week well I have a little bit of a clothing haul to show you that I bought for the twins and George I didn't actually get anything for the baby which seems really silly but I do want to start getting some bits and bobs for the little baby. So yeah, I will show you what I've got. And also, I guess this is a a biggie. Obviously, you know that I've spoken already about the Down syndrome risk that we potentially may or may not have. I mean, it's kind of a gray area. Well, we have been referred to fetal medicine. Um, so that's fine and we are waiting to hear from them and we got an appointment to go and see them but we've also been discussing genetic testing um, which you still have to pay for so that's <laughs> that's fine but they were telling us that they can do a scan of the baby a real in-depth scan and measure absolutely everything um, Obviously you've got your standard 20 week scan, which we'll be having next week. But this scan is more in depth. Now I remember going over to fetal medicine in Bristol when I was pregnant with the twins. I remember it because I was there near enough every week nearing the end of my pregnancy. And the equipment is, wow, it's absolutely fantastic. And everything's so clear and they really do measure everything so everything is covered so that is going to happen with this baby and then we are going to have a meeting with a consultant over there which which will be fine but as they said just purely measuring won't pick up some things I mean it doesn't mean that a perfectly structured or structural baby isn't going to have any anything wrong with it it just means that structurally it's fine which is totally fine with us so we're going to go along see what they say and then decide whether or not we are going to go for the further testing which would be the harmony blood test so that is something that we're going to discuss after our appointment with the consultant i'm actually i am kind of looking forward to it and also a little bit apprehensive because I found it hard when we used to go with Rosalie and Noah just because she was always so much smaller and there was one consultant over there that 
didn't want to believe in them being superfetation twins and then obviously when they were born and it was proven you know things could have been made a lot easier for us but you know never mind to try and put that behind me and move forward anyway i am waffling again right so i've got that to look forward to in a few weeks and then next week i have my 20 week scan where i get to see little one and see how much it's grown let's see how much it's grown actually already i'll get my trusty app on my phone my well it's not mine the baby center app if you haven't got it oh my goodness i highly recommend that you download it because it is so informative i've been looking at it every week okay so can you see that so the baby is the size of a massive tomato and it measures 15.3 15.3 centimeters from head to toe now they don't they don't measure from head to bum anymore it's head to toe and it's also weighing in at 240 grams which i think has doubled from last oh it was 190 grams last week so yeah it is growing rapidly now that is why i am starting to really feel like i'm popping out but if you have a look at this can you see you can see the baby there that's really good at seeing the size of the baby in comparison to your body and that's actually quite big but just think it wasn't that long ago and it was the size of a grape on this app because it's amazing it gives you some insights to some pregnancy symptoms and this is basically me round ligament pain i get it still and it's just gonna get worse i had it with my pregnancy with my last baby george and i keep getting it with this one and it really is worse at night and i don't know if it's because i've been so relaxed and sleep when i go to move it is like a humongous stitch and it takes ages to recover sometimes you think oh yeah a cramp it will just ease off i literally have to get myself up I get onto my hands and knees in my bed and I feel like that is the only thing that helps relieve that tension, I guess. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a massive stitch. So it might be because my like belly is like hanging down. That sounds a bit weird, but you know, if I'm like that, the pressure is almost relieved. Anyway, yeah, round ligament pain is not nice already it's just going to get worse my pregnancy cravings let's talk about those let's talk about everything that i want to eat so basically i want to eat everything i love food still <laughs> very much loving food milk i am having cereal at night now before i go to bed i don't know what it is about milk i used to drink lots of oat milk i had oat milk in my cereal in my tea everything but now i've just i've just gone back to milk and i obviously need it because i'm really really enjoying it so yeah milk is a big thing i think dairy really because i'm really liking cheese as well and yogurts i eat loads of those i'm also still loving oranges and bananas and oh my goodness any veg i can get my hands on i have been making recipes from these recipe cards that i kept from hello fresh i think i actually mentioned this the other day but i am loving the veggie moussaka one so i keep making lots of veggie moussaka and i think now what i'm gonna do is just bulk it um bulk it what do i mean you know cook it in mass so i can freeze it so I, I might actually make about four lots <laughs> what's wrong with my mind i can't think straight yeah if i make what's it called batch batch cook if i make four lots and then i can freeze it of the like the main mixture thing and then when you go to put the courgettes and everything on top that's i'll make that then but then if i just made that that will make oh so much i'll make my life so much easier because it does take about 
half an hour-ish for that to cook and then you've got to do all the other bits and bobs. It is well worth it in the end. I mean, this is delicious. But yeah, batch cooking really is the way forward, I really think. <laughs> I'm gonna start batch cooking other things because when my pregnancy moves on, I am gonna become more tired, I think, and I'm not going to want to do some of these things. I'm just thinking back to my pregnancy with George and with the twins, I got tired quite quite easily, which I find really annoying because there is lots of things I want to do, like the cleaning and the cooking. I enjoy doing these things and obviously spending time with my children. So yeah, let's do some batch cooking. I'll do some batch cooking videos of my favorite things I like to eat right now, which the video is gonna be about 10 hours long, isn't it? Let's face it. Health-wise, I'm doing pretty well. I'm still doing my um, therapy sessions each week to help deal with the previous births and the impending birth of this one and I find that it's actually helping me. I also find at the moment that I am thinking about the previous births more and it's probably just because we're talking about it each week but I think talking helps you get through things I guess in the end and other health. Um, I'm not as tired. Actually, do you know, I am feeling so good. I am feeling hungry, which is great. I want to eat food. I'm not feeling sick. I'm not really feeling tired. I used to get to the afternoons and I think I just want to go and have a sleep, but now I'll just be recording something or editing a video, doing some housework or or anything. I, I feel so much better. And the, the second trimester really is an absolute blessing and it is time to try and preserve as much energy as I can because I'm going to need it in the third one. I'm still taking my aspirin. I spoke to the midwife the other day and I said, how long do I have to take it for? And she said, right up until you give birth. I was like, right, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and also the iron tablets, I'm still taking those, but I think at 25 weeks, they, take some blood from me and then they test it to see if it's working, if they have to up it, or I've got a feeling they might actually, there's a possibility they could even stop it. I don't mind either way. It would really help with, you know, the constipation problem if I didn't have extra iron, you know, to make things, you know. But anyway, let's get on to something a bit more fun. I will show you what I picked up for the little ones. It's just down here, hang on. Oh, <sighs> there's me grabbing all of that and I almost kicked over my can of Coke again. I haven't actually opened it yet. I don't open it because, how long's this video been on for? 10 minutes, something like that. That's when I kicked it over. So, oof, I'm gonna give it a go. I do like this on a nice hot day because it definitely is warming up now. So, if I spray it all over myself, then I spray it all over myself. Here it goes. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's lovely. It's still quite fizzy. Oh, hang on, if I put it there, I'm just gonna kick it over again. Right, let's get down to this little haul that I, that, that, that I have done. First things first, I bought something for myself. Now, my boobs have actually got bigger, which, you know, it's fine, but I'm starting to find things aren't fitting me. Now, because it's gonna be so hot um, when I'm pregnant, or heavily pregnant, I wanted to get some kind of sports bra, which I could wear, or like a sports top, which I could wear, and it's gonna be comfortable and look nice. Anyway, I picked this up, well, I ordered this online, it's just a nice, I don't know what it's called. It's called a tank bra. There we go. This is from Adnola and I love their stuff anyway, but I haven't actually ever worn one of their tops like this before. So I thought I will get this and I got a large just because I am going to be expanding and I want it to fit me for a long period of time, not just for like a month. So this, oh my goodness, it is so, so soft. This color is marshmallow white. Now I did have to wait for this size and color to come back in stock. 
I will link it in my description if you wanted to go and have a look yourself but I tried it on the other day oh my goodness it is beautiful it's so nice so you've got the outside bit here and then you've got an elasticated support bit in there you actually have some like I just I cannot think what they're called you know the inserts here but you can remove them there so that is for me that's the only thing I bought myself which is fine because I don't really ever buy myself much but I do want to get some nice dresses so hopefully in the next couple of weeks you will see me with some nice dresses for the warmer weather which we're going to be getting pretty sure it's going to be nice and hot next week Yee! so these are oh my goodness these are adorable I went to next the other day and I picked up some I wanted some waterproof type of shoes for the little ones to wear in the garden for when they're playing with their sand pit table with water in or just general water play anyway so I picked up these for Rosalie they are the most adorable little pair of jelly shoes they were eight pounds she's a size five and a half so I got her a six it does have a little like warning label on it to say these aren't intended for long wear like all day so what I did do was I put a pair of socks on her so they don't rub and I think that's the worry is that they would rub because they're like a rubber so whoops <laughs> flinging the shoes everywhere so yeah they are eight pounds and they're like um like a creamy color for the boys I picked up these so these are George's and Noah's a little bit bigger they're just they're called pool sliders and they are extremely lightweight actually very easy to get on and off with a little velcro strap there the price says £10 on George's and £11 on Noah's but when I paid for them at the till they were actually a pound cheaper on each though maybe they just got them wrong I also oh I should have sorted this out shouldn't I oh Rebecca right I also I love next clothes because they wash and wear so well and I've been keeping I've been keeping all of the kids clothes because you never know how many children you're going to have in the future <laughs> but I've been keeping I kept the twins clothes and because thinking you know we might have another child and we did we had George so Noah's clothes from last year George is wearing this year so they're really good quality than the next things even the H&M I quite like their stuff as well from next this is for George it's £4.50 I got him a slightly bigger t-shirt because he's quite a stocky chap this is one and a half to two so nice lemon coloured t-shirt to go with these oh my god they're so cute these gorgeous little it's like a, a denim look material but they are very light they're not like denim at all it's just the color of them these are one and a half to two as well and they're a drawstring so that's always very very handy i got noah a pack of vests now all three of them have been wearing bodysuits up until now i find it helps keep nappies in place and things like that but noah has outgrown his bodysuits and i thought he's two and a half I don't think I'll get many more bodysuits. When I say bodysuits, it's like the vests with the sleeves, little short sleeve sleeves, or long sleeve ones, and then they have the poppers that go underneath the nappy. They're, they are great for keeping everything, all the nappies and everything in place. But he's a bigger chap now, and I thought he can have vests, so I bought him a nice pack of one, two, three, four, yeah, five vests, aged two to three, and they cost £10.50, from next and I've also been to H&M which I love I love H&M oh my goodness there's me saying I've only bought myself one thing what a liar I've actually bought myself some shorts as well which I'm wearing right now so I don't know over to show you because mm, hang on I don't know if you saw it in my video just now oh sorry Daisy so here are my shorts god they look awful on me right now don't they they're not awful, they're really nice. They're just a jersey type of short with a drawstring, which I find sits nice over my bump. I can have it 
over or under and they have pockets. Oh, that was a bit not planned. <laughs> So yeah, I bought myself some of those shorts from H&M and I really cannot tell you how much they are. If I find out, I will put it somewhere or I will just link, I will link everything in my description box. So, okay, so from H&M, I bought Noah, this gorgeous little set. It's not a set, is it? Is it a set? No, it's not. You, they're priced individually. So I got a matching top and shorts so these shorts it's just like a big leaf print but it's in a beige and cream colorway which is really cute so these are drawstring shorts and they cost 5.99 and they are lovely quality and i got him the matching t-shirt which is 2.99 which is also really nice quality and it's nice and light I got the boys matching t-shirts. So I got two of these and I wasn't sure on the sizes when I picked them up. So one, two, they're exactly the same size. I bought size, well it says two to four years on here because that is actually quite a big gap really, isn't it? Two to four years with George being quite a stocky chap and Noah being quite tall. I don't know if I told you the price, but it is 5 99 for the t-shirt each. My little sweet Rosalie, I got her a, it's not a pack at all, I got her three dresses. Now these are in the offer of three for two, which was in store. I mean, I don't know if it's three for two online. It might be, it might not be. Oh my goodness. They have got what seems like hundreds of dresses, all similar style but in different colorways and they are so cute it was so hard trying to choose one so i picked up this one for her this is a beautiful oh look it matches my shirt stripey this is a beautiful blue striped dress with butterflies as you can see it's really cute she is gonna look adorable in this i got her size one and a half to two because she has got a little bit taller it is 3.99 but it's really good in the the three for two i mean you can't beat that i love bargains like that so there's that one there's this one which is more of a patchwork look this is 3.99 as well and i got her this cute flowery looking one which is really lovely and bright and colorful that is my mini clothing haul for the little ones and myself. Right, so something else we've done week 19. Something that I have been meaning to do for ages and I, I guess I was putting it off just because I was just, what's the word? It's not nervous, maybe just slightly apprehensive about this pregnancy just because of the um, the results that we'd got. I, I wanted to, to know more, so I was able to be more confident about everything, I guess, going forward. I'm talking about the, um, the trisomy results that we got, but it's got to the point now where I'm thinking, it doesn't matter, does it? So why am I holding back? I mean, we love this baby regardless. And you know, I am so glad that I've opened up and spoken to you guys about this because it's really important and more people should talk about things like this because it's very real and it affects lots of people, lots of families and let's, you know, let's just talk about it. Let's just be open and don't worry about things. I mean, I've had a long time to digest things. We still don't know. But as I said, it doesn't change how we feel. We just, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't change how we feel at all. So I thought, okay, let's just get on with it. Let's just crack on and do this, which was my announcement video to say we're having another baby. Now, this is my 19 week pregnancy update video and I still haven't announced it on my socials or anything like that. So my close friends and my family obviously know, but to just 
say, hey everyone, we're pregnant again, and then get people go, are you crazy? What are you thinking? And any other things that I don't like people saying. We haven't done that. We haven't done that yet. So yeah, this week we went out and we filmed our we are having another baby video, which was so beautiful. I loved it. I, I did toy with the idea of getting somebody in to record it professionally, but I filmed part of it and Reese filmed a little bit and Summer filmed some of it as well. So all of us, me, Reese, Summer, Noah, Rosalie and George, we all went up to one of our favourite places, which is in Westbury in Wiltshire, which is Westbury White Horse. And we filmed it up there and it was a beautiful day. The children just absolutely loved it. It was, it was great and I guess you've seen that video. It's actually the very first pregnancy video that I've put out in my whole pregnancy series. And that is what I filmed in my 19 weeks of pregnancy. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is a essentials for my, for a pregnancy. Essentials for the second trimester. Sorry, that brain, you know, mush again, I couldn't think. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a video with that, with all the things that have helped me so far in my second trimester and things that I really need to get, I will get them and I'll do a video on that. So it's gonna be very real and very right to the time. And I can't wait for all of these videos to be in real time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single person that watches my videos. Thank you, I hope you've been enjoying them. And if you haven't watched any of them yet, please go to my pregnancy list. Blimey, I literally cannot think. Playlist, there we go. My playlist on YouTube, you'll see pregnancy on there. So if you click on there, all my pregnancy videos will be on there, including the one that we did at West Pure Horse. That is the very first one. Then the second one will be finding out we're pregnant, where we recorded ourselves finding out we were pregnant and it was the most emotional, but very, very real video. Um, I was so nervous when we did it. You'll, if you watch it, you will um, obviously understand. And yeah, I have to laugh at myself. When I, I watched it the other day and my hair is literally like st sticking out like this because it was growing back from after falling out after I had George. So my hair's about that long, it's all tufty. It does look quite comical in some of the shots. But anyway, thank you so much for watching my videos and I hope you like them. I hope you like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, give it a big like and share it with your friends or whoever you think might be interested in this. If you've got any comments for me, please stick them in the comment section below and I will try my very best to get back to as many of them as I can. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you as a viewer. I will see you next week. Take care, bye-bye.